Look at that. That's a big risk for Max. To oh, oh shit! Oh, holy God. shit! It's fight day. UFC 300 is tonight. It is the greatest fight card ever assembled. The prelims alone are pay-per-view quality. And I'm gonna miss every last one of them. My name is Angelo, this is We Want Picks, and welcome to the Fight Foods vlog. For every single pay-per-view, you follow me around for the day, we do all the things I'm gonna do, we usually cook some really good food, and then we watch the fights. Today is a little different. I have the daddy-daughter dance. Of all the days in the entire year, the daddy-daughter dance was scheduled for today, April 13th, and it is from 7 p.m. to 8.30, right smack in the meat of the prelims. I am gonna watch the main card, and I am going to sneak my phone out while doing the electric slide to try to watch these fights. This is too good of a card to miss the fights. And if I was a lesser father, I would just ditch those two little nerds and have them go to the daddy-daughter dance with somebody else, but that's not who I am. They're looking forward to it, I'm looking forward to it, and unfortunately, I am gonna miss some of these fights. But either way, hang out with me today. We're gonna try to cook some good food. The gym that I train out, Aguilera Martial Arts in Prosper, Texas, they're doing a UFC 300 watch party. So I'm not gonna cook food for my friends and I, but maybe I'll cook some food, deliver it to them so they could have that while I'm boogieing the night away before I head home and then watch the fights right here. We're gonna do some shopping, we're gonna do some cooking, we gotta get some things done. I might drill a hole in a couple of hard drives. Either way, make sure you watch the Fight Foods vlogs because it's a nice little peek into my life. But before we jump into today, let's rewind a little bit. A premium member reached out to me a few months ago or a month ago saying, hey, you kind of suck at doing yard work. I own a landscaping business. Let me help you out. So let's take a look at Arturo and his crew and what they did right here at my house. This whole card yeah. is tricky. Like, usually pay-per-views yeah. are easy, but not that fight can go out. Whaley is the only, to me, the easiest pick in is the card. Is that in the safety parlor? Yeah. Whaley? Yeah, Whaley's yeah, in the safety parlor. Yeah, yeah. And I was totally good with it, and then Jacob's like, oh, no, no, but Jacob's yeah. a fucking idiot. Yeah. And then obviously Bo Nickel should dominate, yeah, but Nickel. his odds are insane. Yeah, he only has one. five fights ever, yeah. so. Who knows? You probably know him around here now. He's a big no, I'm not guy. from Texas, oh, okay. but he's from Allen. He's, yeah, yeah, from, he's 30 from 30 Allen, minutes yeah. away or 20 yeah. minutes away, yeah. I saw him once wrestling in high school. And then, really? Yeah, yeah, he beat the crap out of my buddy. I <laughs> imagine he's one of the best wrestlers <laughs> Texas so good, yeah. has ever produced. No, it was bad. Yeah, because then he wrestled at the best yeah. college wrestling mm -hmm. program State, in the world. Man. Yeah. Didn't qualify for the Olympics, but... I mean, the Olympics are literally yeah. the best wrestlers that have ever walked the face of the earth. And I think in that last one, he was going against a guy that ended up getting, I think, like second. At yeah, the, he had a real tough bracket yeah. and a tough path. You can see he's not like yeah. jacked, he's not yeah. ripped. He's just, he's just like a tech, yeah. like his technique is perfect. Outworks everybody. Just he outworks people, it's just so clean. Yeah. So that's I'm where he's had his success. Fan. Yeah, I love Bono. People yeah. hate his guts and they're like pissed he's on the main card. Yeah, yeah. And I get it. Yeah. like. Is he worthy of the main card? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. But but he's gonna be. Yeah, he's hopefully. somebody they want to hype, yeah, yeah. and they know that fight will be quick. No, he's gonna be a star. Or he, I think he is, but even if he loses one, yeah. he's fine. But yeah, if he yeah. loses like two or three, then yeah, it's just right. All right, well, we kind tried. Kind of like a North Cut or something to something. Yeah, nasty. yeah exactly. Yeah, no. Oh, look at that old school reference. Hey man, I'm a fan, dude. <laughs> I love this shit. I like it a lot. Yeah. yeah That's so not even old. That's like. What, seven, uh, that's it's ago? pre. I say yeah. old for pre-COVID because yeah, most pre of the people yeah, most yeah. of the people showed up during which is great. Yeah, but most of the people showed up during nah, COVID. I'm like a Conor McGregor era fan, and then from then on, that's when Jacob showed yeah. up. That's when I was like, yeah, oh, this is awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. literally. I got Jacob into the UFC because really? he knew who Conor was. Yeah. we were neighbors. That's cool. I think the first pay-per-view we ever saw was either Conor versus Jose. Yeah. or yeah, Holly cool. Holm versus Ronda Rousey. Yeah. One of those two. He came to my house first one he ever yeah. saw. And I was like, Jose Aldo's gonna beat him. This guy's the best <laughs> ever. And then Connor just yeah. put his lights out. I was like, yeah. holy shit. Maybe not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Boy, do I feel that. And I, honestly, if they fought that fight 10 times, I think that's the only time For Connor sure. wins yeah, like yeah. that. But it's yeah. the best thing that ever happened in the sport. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Because if Connor's not a superstar, it doesn't grow yeah. the way Jose it's supposed Aldo to grow. Jose Aldo would just be still Jose Aldo. Yeah. Legend, but like he'd be like a GSP or something like that where it's he's known, but he's not universally Exactly. Known. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm here. Yeah with Arturo from Southern... Southern Standard Services. Southern Standard Services. Yeah. I had it 
prepped. Yeah. Then we started BSing about yeah, fights yeah, yeah. and I completely forgot. That's no, the longest email. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, the whole yeah, thing it's is the whole something. Thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, either way, I'm here with Arturo from Southern Standard Services. He watched my last Fight Foods vlog, and if you oh. watched it, I was here mm -hmm. digging up a dead palm tree, and I struggled, <laughs> and it did not come out very yeah. easily. And he shot me a DM and was like, hey, I watched the vlog. A, learn how to dig a hole. B, I'm happy to replace yeah. those palm trees for free for you. So I said, we want to do way more than just swap out some palm trees. So why don't you come? We'll walk through what we're trying to do. Give me a quote, and then we'll do that. And he was kind enough to come, put it all together, and you and your crew are working on it. Why don't you just tell them what you're doing? Yeah, so just real simple. We just gave him a new flower bed makeover. We ripped everything else out. We took out the, the ugly, you know, highest layer of mulch, put in some, some new, beautiful, you know, angel wing plants, some flats of nice color. We put a couple of Yopon hollies in the front yard, just gave it a nice makeover. Took out all the gunk, put in some really good stuff, and then we're doing a couple of tree rings for his front yard so you can see it as soon as you turn that corner around his lot, you know, you'll see those beautiful big tree rings and, and they really make his house stand out. Yeah, yeah, those tree rings are coming out. Those, you added that and you Ooh, said, yes, let sir. me do these for free yeah, and you do yeah. a good job. Yeah, and yeah. those look absolutely good. It looks yeah. awesome. And yeah. listen, I'm gonna be honest, Tiffany makes me nervous with sure. this shit yeah. because she is not an easy customer. Mm. Yeah. And she was like, I want it straight. And she yeah. didn't, you know, she does it to me, not yeah. to you. She's gonna be nice. I want it this, I want it that. So I'm like, oh, fuck. Now I could tell. If this isn't yeah. perfect, yeah. it's gonna be, and like she came yeah. home from work yesterday, she's like, this looks awesome. Perfect, good. I was like, Thank God, because yeah. she's not, she, she is not easy yeah. at all. So, I mean, you were out here with tape measures, making yeah. sure everything was, cause she yeah. was like, it needs to be yeah. symmetrical. Yeah. And you took that yeah. very seriously. I saw her text, yeah. I saw those paragraphs. Yeah. Okay, she wants it just like this. Yeah. So, I, so I was like, everything needs to be perfect. Mark, I marked it like 10 times and make sure it, And perfect it looks perfect. On. She Good. came home, Good. she spotted yeah. instantly where that, uh, yeah, 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 that the, spr was, the, yeah. the sprinkler box yeah. was. And I was like, that's the sprinkler box? She's like, it looks good. good. I was like, oh, thank good. God. Yeah, I've been hoping, I said, hopefully I see her so I can at least hear what she thought because she gave me, she gave you her idea, yeah, you yeah, gave yeah. me her idea. Yeah, and yeah. I said, before I take anything, I really need to make sure that I listen to what she wants because no, that's she what it seems like she wants. So good, I'm happy. Well, and that's why and then the camera doesn't get to see this, but yeah. you're like, send a picture, is this good? Yeah. Then I have to yeah, like yeah. scurry away, Tiff, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiff, look at the picture, is that yeah. good? No, but she loved it. Good. It's coming out. We appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's coming out great. So yeah, we, I sick. appreciate you for sure. Right on. Not only for like watching and all that, yeah. but then reaching out yeah. often to do all that stuff for free. So yeah, man. No, I'm happy you. to be here. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. Well, tell them here. your phone number and all yeah. that stuff. So if y'all need any kind of residential or commercial demolition, landscape install, sod, fencing, concrete, you can find us on Southern Standard Services on Instagram and Facebook, or y'all can call or text me at 817-941-8927. Hopefully no, uh, no creeps. No, no Good luck. Picks, this but, is the internet. Yeah, but hey, you know, regardless <laughs> is what we do, so so bring it on. Yeah, right, well, it. I appreciate yeah, you yeah. for sure. Hopefully we can keep this stuff alive. The yard's looking much better, so thanks to Arturo and his crew. And if you guys are in the DFW area in the Dallas Metroplex, give him a shout. Premium members supporting premium members. But we're good with the yard for now. I need to go inside, finalize my UFC Vegas 91 stuff, get a few things done, and then I have to get dressed and I have to get ready for the daddy-daughter dance because I'm going to miss a good chunk of these prelims, but it is what it is. You got little girls, you gotta do girl dad stuff. I've decided that I'm gonna make wings for the boys at the gym for their watch party tonight. So let's head to the store, let's go get some wings, and we're gonna attempt these again. If you remember, I tried these a few months ago, almost burned the whole neighborhood down. I think I've got the kinks worked out. We should be good to go. So let's head to the store, get some wings, come back here and start to cook them so we can drop them off for the team, and then I can go to the daddy-daughter dance. I'm standing here in front of my master built gravity. This is my favorite grill. I have never owned another grill as reliable. I have never owned another grill that puts out the flavor and has all of the convenience. And that's the beauty of this grill. It's basically the flavor of a charcoal grill 
and then all the convenience of a pellet grill. It's the perfect combination of two worlds. One of the things I absolutely love about this grill is the ability to use a rotisserie spit on here. And while I will use that to cook things like prime rib and chicken, my all time favorite thing to spin or to rotisserie are chicken wings. If you go back a few months, almost a year, I made some wings for Jacob and the boys. And what ended up happening is the rotisserie spit stopped spinning, the fat was dripping, the juices were dripping, and this thing basically burned my house to the ground. It was very dicey for a couple of minutes there. I think I have made the adjustments. Great, no, let me film. Don't worry, Joe, I'm just filming. I should smack him. Anyway, what we've got going on here is this is the valve. The stick or the spit goes into this and it rotates. And the biggest issue is that this is two pieces of metal. And you'll see that this comes in here and inside it has to spin. And once there's weight on it, it leans down, the grill heats up, the metal expands a little bit and it gets harder and harder to spin. That's why it stalled last time. I think I have made adjustments. I ground this down just a little bit. We're gonna grease it and I think we should be good to go. So what we're gonna do, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon. We have the daddy daughter dance at 5.15 to get some pictures done and then dinner and then the whole thing. I'm gonna make these wings and drop them off at the gym for five o'clock. Timing is very important here, and you know I suck at timing, but it's 1.30. I'm gonna get this set up. We're gonna get it spinning. I'm gonna get the grill nice and hot. We're just gonna make sure there are no issues because I'm not about to ruin six pounds of meat. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in, get it going, and get it spinning. She's spinning. We've got our rotation. Obviously there's no weight, there's no heat, so this should happen no matter what. But I'm still gonna let this go for a little bit, make sure there are no issues, make sure it's not hung up, and then we can go inside, get the chicken prepped, get it all seasoned, get it coated, and then get it in this basket. I'm not gonna heat this up, because if I heated this up, this basket would be way too hot, and then I'm gonna grab it like an idiot, forget that it's hot, not consider that, and have to edit out all the footage of me burning my hands, because I didn't do everything I was supposed to do the way I was supposed to do it. So we're just gonna let this rotate just like this. What I might actually do is put uh, some weight in that basket and just make sure that it has no issues. And then we'll go ahead and prep the chicken, load it up and get it in here. Should take about an hour and a half to two hours to fully cook. We crank up the heat, we get some nice and crispy on there. And if they're a little cold when I drop them off at the gym, then it is what it is. I'm doing the right thing. I'm not even gonna be watching the fights, I'm just delivering them food. Don't get me going, I'm ranting here. We're gonna get some wings in this basket in a little bit, but for now, again, we're just gonna let it rotate, make sure we don't have any issues. The rotisserie seems solid out there. We're good. I've got that heat turned on. I have the grill on at about 450. We might have to lower that, we might have to raise it, but I want a nice, quick, crisp. This shouldn't take more than an hour, hour and a half. There are gonna be a lot of wings in this basket, so I'd rather err on the side of caution. I'll do it at 450, and then from there, I could ramp it up or ramp it down if they're not cooking fast enough or if they're cooking too fast. So now, we need to get the actual wings ready. Right here I have my basket, I've already got the stick in there, and we'll get the wings in there. But first, what we are gonna do is take the wings out of the package and do a light, very light coating of baking powder. This is gonna help make them a little crispy. Seasoning them now is borderline pointless because they're in a basket, they're tumbling, all the seasoning is literally just gonna fall off and burn up. But what we can do now is give them a little bit of baking powder, it'll dry up some of those nasty chicken juices, it'll stick to the skin, and then it'll get them a little extra crispy. So then when we're done, we come back, we throw them in here, and we toss them up with the seasoning that we want. So let's get them out of this package. I have said this a million times, these Costco party wings are the way to go. These happen to be the organic ones because that's all they had left but they're dirt cheap and you get a ton of wings. This is officially six pounds. We're not gonna be using all six pounds. Maybe I'll do five. We'll just sort of see what this looks like, how many I can get in here uh, with a reasonable amount. Because last time I do think I overloaded it and that was part of the problem. It stopped spinning because it's a long pole spanning the entire width of that grill holding up a ton of weight. So let's just go ahead. We'll start with five in here. We'll see what that looks like. We'll get it in the basket and then we'll go from there. Right now I'm just getting the wings in here and then we'll coat it with a little bit of this. Was that smooth, Tiff? Would you watch this video if you were like, 
Oh, I gotta learn how to cook. This guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah. He would. So then maybe pay attention. <laughs> well, you really shot me a nasty look, huh? You really gave me a nasty comment, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just sarcastic Ange. We've got our wings loaded into the. I'll wait. You done sneezing? I'll wait. Between you and the dog, unbelievable. I'm at work right now. Like just a touch of respect. We've got the wings in our, I don't know, mixing bowl, whatever you wanna call this. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna coat it with some of the baking soda, baking powder, not soda, and we're gonna get it in here. We'll close this up, see where we are. I mean, five pounds is a lot. We should be totally fine here with five pounds. I've got the basket over the foil. Oop, dirty chicken hand. I have to throw this out. I've got the basket over the foil so that the counter is easy to clean. So I'm literally just gonna mix this up with some of that powder. Nice and crispy. Disgusting. And there's a lot in here, so we're gonna do it in layers. This is five pounds and it doesn't look, wash my hand. It doesn't look like a ton. It's literally half of a basket, but you don't want to overfill it because you do need them to tumble, to rotate. So let's go ahead and close this up. We will lock this in, check on the grill, make sure the temp is good. And if the temp is good, this is going on. And you can see it's half a basket, but we want the wings to fall over each other, to flop around, to cook evenly, because if they stay clumped up, only the ones on bottom are gonna get cooked. So let's go ahead, get this on the grill as soon as that temperature's ready, and then it's just a waiting game. I'll check on it every now and then to make sure I'm not gonna burn the house down. But for the most part, we're just gonna wait an hour and a half, an hour, depending on how long it's taking, and then we're good to go. So let's go ahead, get this on the grill, then I have to shower and start to get ready for daddy daughter dance stuff. We are locked and loaded, our chicken is on here. I did lower the temperature to 400 degrees. I figured I, uh, I've got a little more time than I need right now. So you can see they look a little white. That is the baking powder all over them. And now they're just gonna spin and they're just gonna slowly rotate just like this. Hopefully it won't freeze. They'll start to crisp up. And again, if it's taking too long, I'll go ahead and crank the temperature. If it's going too fast, I can lower it to 350, 300, something like that. So we're gonna leave it like this. Once we get super close and they're almost done, I will crank up that temperature, raise the lid, and see if we get some flames up there to give it an extra crisp. So today is UFC 300, the mecca of all fights, but I still have to go inside and get ready for UFC Vegas 91 because when tonight is over, the show goes on and the website flips to the next event. So I gotta finish that up. I gotta finish this up. I gotta wash my ass. I gotta get dressed. I gotta do all these things before the daddy-daughter dance. We are on the final few minutes here. I actually cranked the temperature up to about 700 degrees. You can see we're starting to get a nice crispy outside on these wings. So we're gonna let this go for a few minutes like this. In the meantime, I'm gonna go get dressed. It's time to get ready. So I'm gonna get my clothes on, get ready, and then we'll take these off, season them up, and bring them over to the boys. So these are done. The theme of the daddy-daughter dance is like, Cowboy Candyland or something like that. So I'm gonna wear some cowboy boots. This is the brightest shirt that I had and I'll have a sport coat over it. So it is what it is, but we gotta get these ready because I gotta take pictures and I gotta go. So this is insanely hot. First thing I'm gonna do is open this up and we're just gonna check the temperature and make sure these are done. I am not trying to kill anybody at the gym, at least not with food. So let's go ahead and get this open. They look done. Let's go ahead and Check a drummy, 165. These are done. They're gonna continue to cook as well. So we are good, they are cooked. What we need to do now is season these up. So I've got two different foil containers. We could do this in that giant bowl I had before, but we're gonna do it with these gloves. These are rubber gloves so they can be washed, which I love. And we have two foil containers because I don't know if I wanna do one seasoning or two. For sure, we're gonna do some meat church lemon pepper. I love lemon pepper wings. Just basic, 
to the point you know exactly what it's gonna taste like. I also have some spicy and some sweet here, so depending on what this looks like in the pan, I may do two different flavors. But let's go ahead, get a whole bunch of these wings in here. We'll season them as we go. Again, these are rubber high heat gloves, so I do literally just wash my hands with soap right in the sink wearing these gloves. Yeah, we're gonna do two flavors because this is a lot of meat. Get these in here. And you can see the spots where the baking powder stuck versus where it didn't, because that's the difference between the crisp and the not crisp. So we will do more lemon pepper than we will spicy. And we're just gonna load these up. The key to this is season it as early as you can because they are still wet with the juices and the fat and the drippings. And that's what the seasoning is gonna stick to. Okay. And now we're gonna do some spicy sweet. The sweet is gonna be Meat Church Honey Hog. Obviously it's honey hog, but this is a pretty universal seasoning that you can put on anything. This is very sweet. It's very sugary and it's very fine. So we'll load this up pretty quick. So we got our sweet on there. Now we are going to add the spicy. This is Meat Church Holy Voodoo. This is spicy. People love this on everything. A little bit of popcorn. You can put it on beef, you can put it on chicken. It's a nice way to, we're gonna put that in there, nobody saw. It's a nice way to just add a little bit of spice to something you already had flavor with. You can use it as a standalone. I like to use it as sort of a topping. And these are done. This was five pounds of wings, so it took all of two hours to do. It took longer than normal. If you do a normal human amount of wings and you're trying to feed and gym full of jujitsu practitioners, you can get away with a pound or two. This is five pounds, so obviously it took a little bit longer. The more meat you have in that basket, the longer it's gonna have to go. I did have to add charcoal about halfway through, so just keep an eye on that when you do that, but these are the wings. Let's get these wrapped, and let's get these delivered to the boys at the gym. We just finished pictures. We are now heading to drop off these wings, and then we're going to dinner before the daddy-daughter dance. I just missed the Cody Garbrandt fight, but I saw the result, and that's quite annoying. I'll have to watch that fight back so I can see exactly what happened and how a man that large with that good wrestling ends up fully mounted and giving up a rear naked choke. But those are problems for another day. I am headed to drop these wings off, and then I will be heading to dinner and the dance. I wonder what Jacob's doing. I have a feeling that his night and my night are very different. And Andrade is hot, man. And we can we can discuss that if you guys want to, but Andrade is fucking hot. Oh, he sat him! Jalen! Jalen! What the fuck, Jalen? Jalen, finish him for the love of God! So we're leaving dinner. We're heading to the actual dance. And if you can't tell, some wind have been taken out of my sails. And it's because Jalen Turner, my children in the car, so I'm gonna choose my words wisely. Uh, Jalen Turner made some poor decisions. He absolutely smoked Moicano, right? Once he got taken down, he had nothing to offer. It was embarrassing. But he lit Moicano up, drop Moicano in the first round. He had that guy dead to rights, 99% unconscious. And what did he do? Walk away, tried to get that $300,000 bonus. Oh, let me just walk off. Look how cool I am. Well, Moicano it up, put himself together in the second round, got a takedown. It turns out Jalen Turner has no idea what to do on the ground. So Jalen Turner quit. He's officially a quitter forever now will be known as a quitter. Anybody who turns their head is like, please ref, stop this fight is a quitter. Jalen Turner, quitter. Great striker, quitter if you get him on the ground. I, never been more disappointed before. What an absolute joke he was the better fighter it was clear he was the better fighter nothing to offer on the ground things got tough in the second round and he quit on himself what a joke i'm gonna try to dance off this frustration If 
you win, you tie it up. Here we go. I'll take the girls for a hundred bucks. I need better odds, dude. I need some odds. Even money. No. Got my reaction cam going, and I could finally sit back, relax, hang out with this turd, and watch these fights. This. Look how fucking, I look 65 years old. I look 65, do I not look 65 years old? <laughs> yeah, where are your new balances at? Dude, I look so old in this. <laughs> There's definitely yeah. Velcro. Those are those, uh, those big, thick, white Nikes. Oh, yeah. I was like, Tiff, the why'd you let- The soles are like this big. <laughs> why'd you let me wear this dumb fucking what, shirt? Why are you tucked in? Cause I wore it under I wore it under the sport coat. With what the sport you, coat, I'm not that's a. That's the shirt you wore today. Yeah, look how dumb it looks by itself. <laughs> From here, I thought it was just some. This like, wasn't today, though, was it? This was me cooking wings two hours ago. Oh, okay. So that's what I was about to say. You were actually look at the hair situation. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I almost don't want to include this were, clip. You were cooking in the shirt that you were gonna wear. Uh, out. The final step, because it was like right before, up until the. Well, where's all the food? Where I dropped the wings off at the gym. That's not for us. That was uh, for the gym. Oh, <laughs> it is not. The short, the short sleeve Hawaiian. <laughs> tucked in. Tucked in. <laughs> to skinny jeans. I look like Don't. crew. I look like crew from Minions. Uh, uh, uh. I always like seeing Jacob's reactions when there's just large breasts on the screen. I don't know what. <laughs> I think the dude in white shorts is going to dominate. But he did just slip and fall, and now he is in a front That's choke. The one that you just told me about. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Come on, I need the good luck, Joey. I need the good luck. I need the good luck. Give me the luck. Give me the luck. Give me the luck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just shoot a takedown. What are you doing? In theory, Charles Alvarez should have won that first round. He was closer to finishing. Ooh. That was awesome. How did he get his leg that high? That was an axe kick. So the safety parlay was always going to be. Armin Sarukin and Wei Li. And then the entire community was like, Armin's gonna lose, Armin's gonna lose, and it scared me out of it. So I swapped him. So if he wins and Wei Li wins, <laughs> I'm gonna be so annoyed. Clayton Toby Bodetti. Who's Toby? Toby was that wrestler. Gosh, interesting. He's had like several times. Or he's the dude laying on that mat and the other guy sat. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> and someone's like, come on, Toby. <laughs> he's literally like eating the other guy's dick. Shit, dude. Armin's a badass. Ooh. Armin's a badass. Yeah, if he gets it to the ground, it's over. He proved to himself he's not going to get submitted. And now he's good. Did he steal the round? I don't know, but he's a... Dude, this is gonna be a weird decision. If that's the only thing the judges remember from that round, this is a weird decision. No, I thought they were gonna say all of it. It was the, it was a phenomenal fight. That was the correct decision. But if that was five rounds, who knows? See how Justin just overhand like throws a baseball with every punch. That was the least volume. Max Holloway round of his entire career. 
Oh shit! Yeah, but a, ju a jump spitting back kick sent them tumbling. Oh, that is smashed in. That is broken. He's wincing. Oh, this is looking good for Max. He's absorbed like no damage at all. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. If Justin Gagey loses this fight, which it looks like he may, it completely fucks up the trajectory of his career. Shit, dude. Shit, dude. Oh. Dude, he's got Gagey all fucked up. Oh, shit. I don't know. Holy shit. Dude, don't pull off. Go. Holy shit. Max just has to survive and just give up the round. Dude, Justin Gage is going to have some very real CTE. Oh, 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 is he going to finish He's Justin done. Gage? Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit, holy He's shit. Done. Dude, Max is incredible. There's Jacob, Jacob's going crazy on the... You watch this fight and you're like, how the hell did Max Holloway lose to Volkanovski three times? Like, look how good this dude is. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. That's a big risk for Max. To oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, holy God. shit! Holy shit! Let's do this one. Holy Over here. shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Dude, he's still he up. pointed to the ground. He's up four rounds That's to nothing. Badass, Points dude. to the ground. Dude, <laughs> He deserves that fucking oh, belt. Jacob's about to go. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's the most badass thing Dude, I've ever seen in a fight. Lot. He was winning that fight like, and then still that. pointed to yeah, He had he everything to lose. He had everything to lose in that moment. That's Dude, Jacob's going nuts. Dude. <laughs> he, he, Boof. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. Justin Gagey's career is, and this sounds dramatic, his career is over. Once you get chinned like that, That's gotta be his one. chin will never that's recover. Like, that's got to be one of the nastiest knockouts I've ever seen. <laughs> dude, that's I mean, he came down, he came down, down like a shoulder, yeah. scorpion. I mean, that's crazy, dude. Max Holloway is, is oh my God, that's unbelievable. That might be the greatest lock of the week of all time, Jakey boy. He's doing body work, kicking the body, punching the body. I feel like Hill's gonna be tired after five rounds. Oh, oh shit. How bad at, oh! Now he's just going to go on a fucking, you're going to miss that over one and a half. Oh, shit. Jeez. Oh, shit. What is this? What was that? Like, am I still here? Holy shit, dude. He shooed the ref away. He got kicked in the cup. The ref came in to oh, wow. stop it, and he shooed him away. And then knocked Jamal Hill out with his next punch. Holy shit. Jacob's loving it. <laughs> Holy shit, that was incredible. That was an unbelievable ending to an unbelievable card. The way that Alex Pajeda shooed away Herb Dean after getting kicked in the dick just to knock out Jamal Hill with his next punch was insane. It was the cherry on the top. What an awesome night. The bet's dicey. The entertainment through the roof. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching the vlog. I know that this is different content. It's not what we normally do. So I appreciate you being here. Thank you guys for everything. None of this is possible without all of you. We appreciate you. I will have next week's breakdown up in the morning and we'll see you every single week, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you had as much fun watching UFC 300 as I did.